packing up, heading out very soon to Atsugi, which is the next location. I gotta go find some food though, I've been up for a couple of hours because I'm still... I'm on my own for the first time during this trip on base. I haven't even walked around it by myself. I'm going on an adventure. McDonald's. I don't think I will ever get tired of seeing those cherry blossoms. God, they're gorgeous. All right, so we are heading to Atsugi. Atsugi, so, Japan. Atsugi, Japan. <laughs> so introduce yourself. Uh, Terry, uh, work at MWR, Atsugi, Japan, Naval Base. Um, we do a lot of entertainment and stuff. I actually just got hired as the assistant entertainment coordinator and special events coordinator. So pretty excited about that. So I, I got a quick question for you. I got some kind of bug in here, and I want to know what it is. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta see this. What? What, what the hell is that? Uh, it looks like, looks like a donkey booty. A what? AKA common cockroach. Is that just a cockroach? Yeah. I gotta show you. The view right out here. Let me make sure that I have my. Uh... Hey, hello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are moving. We're moving to a different way. room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So why are we moving? Because they never came and cleaned out the room. Because the dudes is on lunch. Did they just say my name on the radio? He is going to be performing at Club Trilogy starting at 6 p.m. This is a completely free show. It's going to be fun for the whole family. And it is open to all hands, so do not miss Brian Miller. He's been around the block before, so this magician knows exactly what he's doing. The doors will be opening at 5, and then the show begins at 6. That was completely unplanned. <laughs> I, I was recording filming something that we were looking at and I heard them say my name on the radio so that's cool is this like a plain graveyard I, I'm, that's what I'm thinking I don't know which one of those are those actually might be those might be the ones okay like maybe three years ago we had this like big snowfall it was like almost like a blizzard all the hangers on that side I'll show you the new ones that they're building collapsed the best part about what just happened is that as I'm editing the vlog that you guys are watching right now, in my mind, I just found the title of this vlog, which is Airplane Graveyard in Atsugi. <laughs> that was the thumbnail, and that's the title. <laughs> venue now we are doing an early sound check shows not for a few hours hi very well how are you i'm good you know i have kind 
kind of uh, some kind of collection in my office. You have a the celebrity like you. Oh, can celebrity. Your, yeah. Can I have your autograph? I would please? be happy to. Thank yeah. you. And it was Josephine. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, special. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The real reason people come to the show, free food. No different than college shows. That's good, that's good. Here, I, I want, I, here, you're gonna do, <laughs> what was that? Okay, here's what we got. Got a three, three coins, right? Now, the coins are gonna jump from one hand to the other. <laughs> Hanging out with the audience before the show, I love doing that. It gives me a chance to get a feel for the crowd, to see how their sense of humor is, what kind of mood they're in. It's your name. When you exchange names with somebody, when you get their name and, and, and you give them yours and you shake hands, you give the kids a high five, you joke around with them, now they feel invested. They really, they care about you. Now you're like, you're, you're friends with them almost now and they really want you to have a great show now. It's the best thing I ever did for my show. It's better than any magic trick that I, uh, that I put into my show or any of the lines or any of the jokes that I wrote for my shows. Grab one, grab one. Toss it in. Great show, ton of kids, a little unwieldy, but we had a lot of fun, ton of energy in the room. And I had one kid, like a 10 year old kid, who has a talent show coming up and he is doing magic for it and he showed me a trick and he nailed it. I mean, he didn't just do the trick well. He nailed the presentation, the persona of being a magician. The, it was entertaining. It, it was pretty awesome actually. So shout out to that dude. That was cool. And we we're gonna head off base and get ramen. Yes, we're going to get ramen because apparently here it is incredible. And everybody said you gotta do it. Technically, R A. R A. Yup. Ramen. And the next one is M E, and that one is the N. Ah. So it's ramen. Ramen. That's not ramen. What is that? What do you think, hide and seek? <laughs> if so, pretty damn good. <laughs> They'll never find me. 